Miami fans, welcome back to Canes All Access. I'm your host, Cameron Dobbs, welcoming you in for one last episode. This is our final episode of the semester, which is so sad, but we're super excited because we have Melissa Dagenet with Kane Soccer in studio with us today. Melissa, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. We're so excited to have you. Let's dive right into it. You have just wrapped up five years here at the U. Yep. In one word, describe your experience at Miami. Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, I say roller coaster. Roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta explain further. Why roller coaster? Oh man, I feel like I came in as like a child. You know, I mean, I was 18, so it makes sense. Um, and first time I've been far away from home, so like that was tough for me because I'm like super tight with my parents. So yeah, it was like pretty hard to leave, and then you know, not playing for two years and then going through a lot of ups and downs, I would say, you know, then I went to like getting the starter spot and played in my, you know, the three last seasons I had, but then last spring had an injury. So I didn't, I actually didn't play the entire spring and then like hopefully was able to make it back to season this season. But yeah, I, I feel like a lot of, you know, feeling good, feeling not so good, but yeah. You mentioned a couple of those ups and downs of mm -hmm. facing injury, obviously just fighting to earn a starting position anyway, mm -hmm. different ups and downs throughout your career. What would you say is the highlight, your favorite moment on the pitch, on the field as a football player here? Ooh, okay, um, I think it would be that like, that time we won against BC and it was like, the le there was literally one second left. And then, so it started off, I like played a long ball and then like there was like some so much going on in the box and then like I just see like Jackie like she's not on our team anymore but at the time she like you know swings and then I just like I could see it from far and I was like that's definitely going in and like it was just so hype like winning that was our first ACC game too so it was like pretty cool like a pretty good win and it's such a cool perspective being a goalie too because you're kind of yeah, like just obviously looking, you're I'm in like, the like, action for a lot of it but then you know when your team's got the oh, ball yeah. you're just kind of looking back watching it happen yeah so i'm sure that was an awesome experience oh, yeah, definitely all right you guys have some fun on the pitch mm -hmm. but also off of it as well oh yeah <laughs> what would be your favorite memory off the pitch during your time hmm. at the u i think we've had some pretty fun gathering at hannah's house those those are fun um other than that like this is basic but all the trips that we've had you know obviously being at hotels stuck together for like five days we're like bound to like get closer and have some fun so we've had a lot of good laughs there so sure. many memories from yeah. away trips always yeah <laughs> i love yeah. it all right you mentioned those ups and downs though going back into those what do you think the biggest challenge for you has been during your time mm. i would say the challenge was like more mental than like actually like something happening to me i think it was like overcoming like my doubts and like all that stuff weighing down on me and like kind of I would say my first two years that was um you know like kind of not helping me get to where I wanted to be so like it was like weighing me down and I feel like once I like let go of all that stuff to be honest not too sure how it happened it just kind of <laughs> like it, it's a progression like <laughs> I just like came in the spring and just had a mindset switch and I was like I'm gonna grind because like I'm like that's what I'm here for I'm gonna stop like feeling sorry for myself stop you know missing home and just enjoy where I am and then that's where like I started like actually enjoying like the journey and all that I love that that's yeah. awesome and going off of that further I mean you've worked so hard these past years to again gain that starting position mm -hmm. be the person you are be the player that you are but you've grown a lot through the entire experience. Oh yeah. You mentioned a little, you changed the mindset along there. <laughs> what other ways do you think you've grown through your time? Mm, I mean, obviously soccer wise, for sure. Like I've gotten to be like a much better confident goalkeeper than I was coming in. Like the, you know, the switch up is pretty crazy. Like when you look at it, like I'm just quicker, I'm stronger, like all of that. In every way possible. Yeah. Grown in yeah, every yeah, way yeah. possible. All right, well, you grew to be an exceptional player here at Miami. I mean, you created quite the resume with the Canes here. Something to note for sure. I mean, logging the most minutes out of any Miami player the past couple years, as well as leading the ACC in saves per game the past couple years. Incredible 
end to your career at, my, at Miami, but we know the best is yet to come for you. Oh, yeah. Lots of exciting things come for Melissa Dajanay, so mm-hmm. keep that name mm-hmm. at the top of your list, yep. Kane fans. Don't forget. <laughs> you got a little taste of what your future might look like yeah. playing with the Canadian national team in, mm-hmm. o- in the October window just yeah. this season. What was that experience like? Honestly, I can't even describe it. Like, so amazing. Like, the uh, the best experience I've ever had. I think it, like... Like you said, it gave me a taste of what's coming up and like what is possible for my future. And like, just, it got me so excited, honestly. Like, yeah. And break that down further for us. Like, what was the day to day? How long was it? What did, I assume you're training the Mm -hmm. whole time. Were there games, you know, what was that involved? So it was a 10 day camp and there were two games in there against Brazil. And then, so the, for, for the first part of the camp, we were in Montreal, then we went to Halifax. And basically all you do is, eat sleep soccer pretty much you know like you wake up and then um there's usually like film before practice and then you go to practice um that's intense also goalkeepers go uh I would say like 30 40 minutes before field players so then we get like some extra work in so you're with the goalkeeper coach for like an hour or so and then you're with the full team where you just do some more diving and more like shot stopping and then like some situational things and then um after that get back you get dinner or lunch or whatever time it is by then because every day was kind of like a different schedule and then uh we also had lift throughout um those days and yeah it was just a really good good time overall playing for your own country was that a little bit like pinch me like is this real yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I've never been in like in front of that big of a crowd like against um Brazil like the first game in Montreal there was I think it was like 20,000 people at the stadium which is like pretty crazy for, you know, I'm used to I think the max that I've played in front was like maybe like 1500, 2000, you know, with you I'm at like big schools mm-hmm. like FSU, UNC or whatever, but um, yeah, it was definitely like big and then, you know, my parents were there, some of my friends, so it was very cool. All right, so what's next for you now? You're graduating, we're talking about it off air before this. You yeah. literally have your last day of class today. Yeah, You're wrapping up true, finals actually. the next couple of weeks. You got graduation coming up. What's next for you? Uh, so next is finding a team. <laughs> yeah, because obviously I want to continue, you know, like you said, I got a good taste of it. So now I want to keep going from there. So yeah, just uh, trying to find a team. I'm most likely gonna enter the draft in January also. So stay tuned for that. But um, kind of looking to go overseas, I think. I'm not too sure. We'll see. If you had your choice, where would you go overseas? Mm, that's a good question. Because <laughs> to be honest, everyone has been asking me that and I can't answer it. Because I feel like it depends, whatever the opportunity arises. Because yeah. maybe there's places that I don't know about that I would love. So I'm staying very like open-minded for it. Because there's so many teams and leagues out there. So yeah, just trying to find the right fit is mostly it. And, but, and what's next for you is exciting. What's next for Kane's football is also very exciting. Oh, yeah. They literally announced today, as we're recording this right now, um, that there's a new head coach here at Miami. Mm-hmm. So what would your advice be to this next era of Kane's soccer players coming in and playing for a new coach, playing the rest of their careers under a new coach, whatever it might be? What's your advice for these next era of soccer players? I think it'd be like, don't be scared to play your own game you know I feel like oftentimes girls coming in are like tend to get a little more stressed and then they're trying to play according to what they think the coach would want how like you know and all that and then they kind of lose like the passion for soccer and then they lose like their actual like strengths that they're good at doing so I think like stick to what you're good at stick to your strengths and like honestly enjoy the journey because like it goes by in like a heartbeat, (laughs) like actually so fast. Like my freshman year, I remember because I was unwell, I was like, oh, I'm excited (laughs) to be done, like all that, and I had just gotten in. But then like a year later, it it just started going by like so fast, and now I'm like, oh man, like I don't wanna leave. Yeah, it's a blink of an eye. Yeah. It's unbelievable how fast it goes by. Yeah. But you've got a a lot of exciting things to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Bittersweet, bittersweet. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, what next for you is awesome. What's next for the program is amazing as well. Mm -hmm. 
what's next on the calendar is Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Super excited for that. Yeah. So do you want to break down some holiday hot takes as we wrap up this episode? Holiday hot takes? <laughs> Let's do it. Like a wish list? No, 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 no. <laughs> you got this. So basically I'm going to ask you like this or that, oh, but okay, holiday okay. version. Okay. Yeah? Okay. All I'm right. Ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. We'll wrap this episode in. up. <laughs> you had no idea this was coming. So this was no, a surprise. No, I did not. All right. First holiday hot take. The color red or green? Green. Okay. Easy. Because canes. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, true. <laughs> I, I just, I look better in green. You know? Okay. There you yeah. go. There you go. All right. The Grinch or Elf? Mm, Grinch. Mm -hmm. Classic for me. Of course. Christmas music before December starts or after December starts? After December. You're one of those. Yeah. Well, also my birthday is coming out. It's December 7th. Okay. So to me, it's weird to celebrate Christmas before my birthday. Valid. So after December 7th. Christmas music. That makes sense. Yeah. My sister is the 14th, so she's the same That's a little way. late, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's like, Christmas, 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 birthday, and yeah. then Christmas. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Valid reasoning. All right, next one here. For Christmas music, classic or new pop hits? Classic. Classics. Yeah. Can't go wrong, obviously. All I want for Christmas is you, That's your go-to? <laughs> yeah, my favorite. <laughs> I love it. Hot chocolate or eggnog? Hot chocolate. Does anyone even like eggnog is my question. So. <laughs> no one would yeah. choose it. All right. Decorating cookies or making gingerbread houses? Decorating cookies. Because I actually eat those. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm with yeah. you there. Real tree or fake tree? Mm, fake tree. Fake tree. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. You don't have to pick up all the pines. Yeah. So like a little. Yep. Yeah. Le le more convenient for sure. Yeah. All right. On that tree, would you rather put colored lights or the white lights? Colored colored yeah add a little pizzazz yeah i'm yeah i'm not towards the like modern trees okay much. i'm i'm used to like all You're the very, lights you, and... you chose the classic grinch you chose the classic christmas yeah hits. i guess some classic yeah, yeah classic traditional yeah, your girl. thing your yeah. thing all right ugly sweaters or christmas pajamas christmas pajamas pjs mm -hmm. now are, are you a family that like gets a pair every single year no you just no. love the pjs yeah i yeah. get that too all right Last one here. Christmas in Miami or Christmas in the cold? In the cold. In I the mean, cold. I'm from up north, so I, if there's no snow, it just does not feel like Christmas okay. to me. So yeah. you mentioned off air that you don't love the cold, but when it's Christmas time, oh, yeah. like you got to have it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like I hate the cold, but just on Christmas, it looks pretty. You yes. Know? You got to have like that snow. winter wonderland. If it's cold and there's no snow, then you're like, it's a lose-lose, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's not worth it if there's no oh, snow. Oh, no. Definitely. Yeah. You got to at least have snow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we hope you have that Christmas winter wonderland as you go Thank back you. to Canada Me too. for this Christmas. <laughs> but we wish you the best. Appreciate we support it. you in everything. Once a cane, always a cane. Yep. So we're ever going to be in your corner rooting you on and can't wait to see where you go next. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the it. show. Go you. Go you. <laughs> go Canes. Yes. And Cane fans, thank you guys for hopping on every single episode this semester. This is our last one of the year, so we can't wait for what the next year holds and all the episodes that we have. But thank you so much for investing into the humans behind the Hurricane jerseys. And shout out, of course, to our awesome crew behind the cameras making this show happen every single week since August. For the last time this year, this is Canes L Access. I'm your host, Cameron Dobbs, and as always, go Canes.